Welcome back to Star Wars Timeline. In this video, we're highlighting one of the most popular Expanded Universe characters, Quinlan Voss. We'll briefly talk about his background story, his personality type, as well as his powers. But before we do that, my name is Ben, and I do Star Wars books and comic book reviews, character highlights, lore videos, and so on. If you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to support me, subscribe, hit that bell button, and all that good stuff. Now, let's get to the character. A lot of fans who never saw the Clone Wars show or read any of the comic books may ask, who is this character? You'll be surprised to find out that you actually saw him. That's right. He first appears as a background character in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. In the scene that is uh, Mos Espa spaceport where young Anakin takes Qui-Gon Jinn and the rest of the party to his home, he shows up very briefly in the background. But as a proper character, he was first introduced in the Dark Horse comic books uh, by a writer, John Ostrander, and artist Jan Dorsema. Quinlan Vos is a member of a clan-based race of people called the Kifar. For all intents and purposes, they look human, except for their tribal traditional facial tattoos, which are permanent, and usually come in red, yellow, or green colors to identify between different clans. Um, he was born into a ruling bloodline family on his homeworld called Kifu, uh, with a strong sensitivity to the Force. Unlike other Jedi members, he was actually trained on his home planet when he was discovered by the Jedi Master Tholme for his great potential. During the tribal feuds, both of his parents are sacrificed, and the young boy is forced to witness their brutal murders through a personal talent called the Psychometry. I'll go into that a little bit later. But the young boy eventually leaves his homeworld and goes to Coruscant to train as a Jedi Padawan, but this tragic event never leaves him and he constantly has a brush with the dark side. Eventually, Quinn becomes a Jedi Knight and later attains the rank of Master. He takes on his own Twi'lek Padawan, Isla Secura, and goes on on many dangerous missions during the last days of the Clone War era and into the Galactic Civil War with the Tyrannical Empire. He's known as a maverick Jedi who performed all the dirty work of the Jedi Council that he didn't want to associate itself with. He goes on many undercover operations and because of the personal tragedy and witnessing the atrocities of war, he never fully recovers from the temptation to the dark side. At one point, he even allies himself with a former enemy, Asajj Ventress, and together they go on a secret mission suggested by no other than uh, Mace Windu himself to assassinate Count Dooku. Now, let's talk a little bit about his personality and uh, Jedi traits. On the surface, he appears to be a quiet and civil man with a sarcastic sense of humor but deep inside we know that he's tormenting a broken man, and he never lets go of his hatred for his aunt who orchestrated the sacrifice of his parents. Um, in one period of his life, he even has a total loss of identity, and he doesn't remember who he is, and he has to use his special talent called psychometry to recover his past. Now, psychometry is something we've seen in Episode 7 uh, of The Force Awakens with Rey, when she touches Luke Skywalker's weapon all the history and emotional drama surrounding that object, that particular Jedi is able to witness and almost see in a vision sort of way. This often happens in the legends and canon comic books and novels. You see psychometry come back and forth. He's a free thinker like Qui-Gon Jinn, and he never quite subscribed to the Jedi dogmas. And he always follows his own sense of justice. He even sacrifices one of his childhood friends in order to maintain his cover as a dark acolyte to serve the Republic. In the Legends Expanded Universe, Quinlan Vos survives the Clone Wars and eventually has his own family and even uh, fathers a son. In the canon, he forms this very strange relationship with Asajj Ventress in the book called The Dark Disciple. They understand the, each other very well and they form this intimate relationship. She has to train him to understand and learn the vices of the dark side of the force because they're on the mission to destroy uh, Count Dooku. Quinlan Vos in return teaches her self-sacrifice and compassion and this very dynamic relationship gives birth to a strange but very believable and convincing love relationship. Next, let's talk about my impression of the character. I was first introduced to him during the time of the Dark Horse comic books revolved around Clone War era and later on when they started incorporating him into the Clone Wars television series because supposedly George Lucas got quite interested in the, in the character after reading the comic books and he wanted to incorporate more of him. Uh, first and foremost, I want to talk about his appearance. This was the first thing that struck me because when you pick up a comic book, 
usually it's you know the cover that attracts you and here comes this exotic looking man you know with a tan skin and dreadlocks and this interesting yellow striped tattoo which contrasts with his uh, uh skin and i just thought it was very great and interesting design to look at um it almost reminded me of like an egyptian priest or conan the barbarian from the robert e howard uh, short stories of course that was only the surface what really drew my attention to this character was his amazing backstory from the moment that his parents are murdered it sort of shapes his character I never want to see a Jedi, you know, who doesn't have a chip on his shoulder and is flawless in every way and is not affected by human emotion. And it's not the case with Quinlan Voss. He constantly have to tread the narrow path between the dark and the light side. And it was very interesting to see him during the trying time of the Clone War era, how he constantly had to find meaning in this mindless uh, Clone War. And even after, during the Jedi Purge, when uh, 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 Vader was stalking and killing off all the Jedi. Um, he always had his own uh, moral compass and a sense of justice, and he always knew what to do. He almost had this samurai-like devotion to the Republic, to someone, something else, ideals greater than his own. Um, and it was very interesting to see his strength of character in uh, the Dark Disciple novel, when he has to work together with Asajj Ventress. He brought the best in her, and even at the lowest bottomless pit of of suffering and hatred she was able to save him and bring him back and it was interesting to see how these characters who are both touched by darkness found each other in the eye of the storm and now let's talk about my hopes for the future of this character we have the bad batch coming up which is takes place immediately after the clone wars and i think it's an excellent entry point to bring him back and introduce him to a new generation of fans um, also, I would love to see him in some kind of live action role. I know a lot of fans are fan casting Jason Momoa cast as him, but I would really enjoy to see an exotic looking uh, actor portray him and maybe not cast in his own show, but show up in an episode here and there and explore the theme of the Jedi hubris, how a uh, one loner free thinking Jedi was able to outlive this order, which was slowed down by this uh, old dogmas and code that failed them in the long run which luke also talks about later in the last jedi when he talks that the jedi couldn't see in front of them this uh, deceitful sith lord who basically corrupted all of them and brought down the destruction of the jedi uh, order that's it for my character highlight i hope you enjoyed this video I would love to hear in the comments what you guys thought of this character. Do you know him from the comic books or did you enjoy his storylines in the Clone Wars TV show and so on? As always, thanks so much for watching my channel and giving me your time and support. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe it, hit that bell button, and I will see you next time. May the Force be with you.